Hello, Ecto Sage here on the Sage channel, a sleep art game and eat. And today, I'm going to show you something I came up with that might not exactly be original. You see, I've seen a lot of people making gravity propelled weapons, basically, where they take an asteroid or whatever and use gravity generators to fling said asteroid or something it's attached to you at something. Well, I had the idea why not actually take that same principle of gravity throwing an asteroid? actually have the asteroid attached to the ship the same ship that has a gravity generator in it which is this one now, I'm actually gonna fly up here and I have a cutaway of that other of this same ship and I can show you exactly how it works now you can see that at the bottom of the ship that smaller thinner part it's actually full of two of the generators a bunch of stuff to maneuver the ship and the one gravity generator here you can see all of our engines here for stopping the ship once we decide we no longer want to carry on moving and a bunch of maneuvering thrusters that I shoved in here. If you come up here, this is a large room where, once I go back to the full normal version of the ship, you'll see that I have a large asteroid in here. The only reason I have a single gravity generator is because if I have more than one, considering the size of the asteroid I have down below in the actual main ship, it will tear the ship apart instantly, so I have to have only one. If we fly up here, you can see this is our makeshift control room, and I'll actually show you how you get into this in the actual ship down there. Now as we approach it, you can probably guess how you get in. It's not actually from that small opening there. It's actually straight through the top here, and that's because this is an experimental ship. I didn't want to have any proper doors or anything. This is our control panel that we'd use for the whole ship because it's being pulled down that way when it's in work. This is the best way to pilot it. That way you can still turn the ship and be heading the way you're actually looking. Of course this means that the only engines you see on the ship are facing forward, but that's some sort of the <laughs> an interesting aspect of the ship that I think is actually a positive. If we fly down here now you can see what the ship actually looks like from the inside and you can see the large asteroid piece that we have here that we mined up. Huge huge thing, weighs an awful lot, or at least it will once we turn gravity on and we can see you can see we have control panels down here. I originally had to use those when I was placing the gravity generator in because of course when you place a gravity generator in, it's place turned on and the whole ship got yanked down. I then rushed to one of those to disable the gravity generator and then the engines down here stopped it. And you've already seen all the stuff in here from the cutaway so I have no need to show you what that looks like at all. So I'm going to head back up and now just oop, bump into that. I have a few extras just because I was trying to position it to grab as many as I could. Originally I just had three in the bottom right in the middle. And they all, those three, that one, that one, that one, and the asteroid sort of instantly broke those. So I decided to have a few more. I decided to move the asteroid a tiny bit to grapple onto a few ones on the side as well. Anyway, let's head back up here into the control room and I'll just demonstrate it in use really quickly. So let's hop on here. There we go. We can turn the ship. Of course, I would suggest turning the ship very, very slowly because if you turn it quickly, it's that asteroid could easily probably shear off of its dockings and cause a large amount of trouble. So now let's just turn on the gravity generator and let's disable our inertial dampeners. That means the engines will no longer be trying to stop the ship from moving. And you see we're accelerating pretty quickly, all from one asteroid and the gravity generator. So it's a simple way around needing huge engines to get your ship going. Now one of the interesting things is you can see here the ship is turning. That is because Oh wow, we're actually turning a whole lot now. That's because that asteroid is so big and it's not properly aligned in the dead center that as it's pulled, it pushes on different parts of the ship and therefore turns the ship. So if I was to make a proper one of these that I would have full control over, I would absolutely include probably a number of smaller asteroids with more gravity generators equally spaced about the ship to give us greater control. This was just a test of principle basically and as you can see it works pretty well now I'm actually gonna get out of here I'm gonna turn off our jetpack Ooh. and we've glitched through everything this is very very bad I'm now attempting to catch up with the ship and I'm having a lot of trouble luckily the ship is spinning uh, I'm just gonna cut to when I catch it if I catch it what I've basically done is just waited for it to orbit all the way around to try to catch it on its return and it looks like I'm gonna miss it god dang it Piece of crap. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Clearly, the game, remember, is still in alpha. That's why I instantly slid through a window there. And because of the way the ship is turning and spinning as it goes, that's also why I got flung instantly that way, because the ship is spinning. 
If the ship was simply going straight down, if I had lined everything up perfectly with multiple smaller asteroids while just pulling it, I probably would have been fine if the gravity generator just kept me in one spot. I might have had trouble moving because if the ship is falling at 104 meters per second, it that means when I try to walk forward, I cannot actually get a grip because I'm actually hovering at the same level as the floor because I'm falling at the maximum speed you can fall. So it might be advisable to actually have some retro engines on to keep the ship from actually moving at that full 104 meters per second. But overall, it's a proof of concept. It works, even if I've lost a ship and it's now pretty much permanently stuck in orbit around these asteroids because it's falling at a... Well, it's an orbit. That's what an orbit is. It's falling at a sort of controlled point. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching. I'll see you guys next time.